I'm going to replace the anode rod in a brand new hot water tank uh, with this Coro Protec anode rod. Um, I get the hot water smells like sulfur real bad, just the hot. If the hot and cold smell, you have other issues probably with the water, and this probably won't work. You could take the old anode rod out uh, and cap it, but then you don't have anything to protect your tank from. Uh, corrosion so you're gonna have to replace it with something this was the only one I could find that pretty much guarantees it's gonna eliminate that sulfur smell so I'm gonna go for it and I'll tell you how it works out here towards the end but uh, 20 year warranty on this thing uh, just make sure you get it for the right size tank this 40 to 89 gallons uh, uh, you know comes with instructions and stuff but basically it's just a rod um, has a titanium uh, stem on it and then at the top has a little electrode you do have to plug this in puts a little electric charge in there uh it's supposed to take care of the smell so we're going to give this a go there's a little uh, uh transformer that'd be the plug for it uh, on this tank never going to be able to get in there with a wrench uh, i've never it's really hard to get these things to let go with a wrench even with a cheater bar you need four people to hang onto the tank so you don't spin it. So um, if you have access to an impact wrench, uh, get one of those. I'm going to start, shut the water off to the tank and going to have to drain this thing down, yeah, maybe a foot or so. You can just guess. Uh, I'm going to hook up a hose here. You can tell this tank's brand new. So I'm going to hook up a hose and drain this down a little bit um, and make sure the... Uh, either turn it completely off I just have it on pilot I think it'll be fine uh, and then open up that valve and uh, let some of the water out uh, you do need to let some air in the line so it'll drain better uh, so it can suck some air and get that uh, get some of that water drained down uh, that nut there I'm gonna make a little mark um, with a sharpie on the tank and on that top of that bolt there um, so I can tell when it moves. I got an impact wrench and this thing's gonna sit on here for a minute uh, To get this thing to let go. Like I said, I'm in a tight spot. You might be able to get it with a wrench uh, it Takes an inch and one sixteenth is pretty common on these uh, Socket so I got an impact wrench and I'm gonna zip it a few times Until it looks like it's and check it to see if it's moving. I don't want to spin this thing out of control um, I'm just going to take my time with this uh, until I know it's loose. So I did notice that it's starting to move barely. Uh, like I said, these things are on here good. Anybody tells you, oh, it's a you know walk in the park, um, don't believe them. Uh, expect the worst, uh, and that way you're prepared. So once this thing got uh, loose a little bit, I was able to twist it off uh, just with the socket. And like I said, you drain the tank down so water doesn't come squirting out. Just checking to see if that rod's hot. Uh, this thing's pretty long. This is a tall, skinny 40 gallon tank. Um, and you can tell it's pretty much brand new um, and pretty long. So if you guys have a short ceiling there, uh, you might have to get this thing halfway out and cut it with a hacksaw or something to get it completely out. Uh, but the new one, the Coral Protec. I'm gonna go around that thing probably a good three to four times with some tight Teflon and then slide this thing in here. You do not need to impact this thing back on. Uh, just gonna carefully thread it on there. Uh, the end does stick up out of the tank a little bit so you can just use a wrench to get this thing in here. And I'm gonna snug this thing up tight and do not crank on it. Um, just snug it up tight. We'll turn the water back on and um, let the air leave that uh, faucet open and let all let it push all the air out of that line until the the water runs a you know solid stream that way you know you got all or most of the air out uh, and then before I turn the heat on I'm gonna hook up this uh, the electric to this thing it has a clip and also has a ground that's the little ground there and that clip goes on the uh, rod and then the ground goes on the tank there, closest screw I could find, and then just plug it in. And uh, then, oh, like I said, it's it's full of water and whatever. So uh, and then we're running over to the uh, 
to the plug. You got to make sure you got a plug close by. And um, that's it. That's it for that. So I'm going to let this thing run. And I tell you, it's been about an hour. And uh, it pretty much took care of that smell instantly. Uh, it's gone. So if you like this thing, there'll be a link uh, down under the more button. So hope that helps.